We are here to keep the fellowship alive through His way. He was thank you for remaining faithful in New Jerusalem TV. We believe whatever the heaven has in store, you are included for His plan, for His plan of today. Thank you, viewers. God bless you. Amen. Amen. To understand ourselves where we are and where we are going and where we are heading to. That's his way. I'll put this message this way so that you know where you are, whether you are there or not. Tell your neighbor, identify yourself. Tell him again that identify, identify. yourself. That is the message for us that will guide us for today. The message title Identify yourself. There's no pretend. You must identify. So you must identify yourself. We we'll discovered here Luke 2. Luke chapter 2. Or take from verse 1 to 5. In your own good time, you we'll take from verse 1 to the end. Or we'll take from verse 1 to 5. We are there. Luke chapter 2. I know you have taken the message now. Identify yourself. In those days, Caesar Augustus. Issued a decree that a censor should be taken of the entire Roman world. Two, this was the first censor that took place while Quirinus was governor of Syria. Three, and everyone went to their own town to register. Four. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. Five, the last for today. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. The Spirit of God sent me there. I'm the sub leader the representative of the Holy Spirit before you. No one can confess to me now that he or she does not have a birth certificate that carries his name and mother's name on it. If you say, I don't have, someday they will uncuff you on the road by asking you identity card. And you can never, all of us can testify, to have an identity card without a birth certificate. Heaven sent me here. This is my first time to go for this passage. And it is very fundamental for us, for those who will give a listening heart. Who is really the one that is a genuine follower? Of this congregation. A law, a decree came, the text we have just read, that everyone should go, there was session, that everyone should go back to his hometown, like some of you, like now. If they give back to you, maybe in somewhere eh, in Mount Vendel, inside, you want to go back to renew. All to do, they will send you back there. Go back to where they give back to you and go and do the best, the best certificates. 
bring it, then you have to be able to make your ID card. Those who say I've been in Manzayon for 15 years, I've been in Manzayon for eight years. What can you prove? What is the proof? It is not by confession, but it is all about what? Proof. Let me tell you people, and I'll be telling you, it will be very difficult. It is not a mistake that we all can confess Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. It's a line of faithfulness. It's a line of righteousness. It's a line of prosperity. And no one can obtain them unless the spirit of the living God backs them up. You think that because you can confess out there that I worship at Mount Zion Church of All Nation, it is enough? It is not enough. Those people, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, they did things that it was not scriptural. They performed things. Heaven looked into it. He saw the same attitude. That's why we are calling about the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. My God, the living God that we all claim we are serving, cannot meet you if you have not recognized. If you get to ask, say, I've spent this year, year, that's why you can only confess how many years you have spent, but you cannot point something that the God of this commission has made happen to you. Followers becomes benefactors. Genuine ones. Who say I've been in Mount Zion without progressing? Ask yourself: Does this God of this commission knows you? Don't only ask the question one-sided. The both sides. Are you committed to the place? Not devoted. Are you committed to that denomination? That is the question heaven is bringing for me. Put it for you. <laughs> Put it before you today. Identify yourself. Then the God you serve in this place called Jesus Christ of Nazareth will identify you. Will identify you genuinely. Identify yourself. And the first thing they will ask you presents us the ID card. I'm talking to you now as a brother, as a child talking to parent. Let me tell you, boy, this message is, <laughs> is not by chance. It is revelation. The God of this commission is being. He will not see you. He will not recognize you until you yourself identify yourself before him. There are many of you, you are benefiting, enjoying good health, but you cannot attest that is the God of this commission. There are many of you, you came here sick, today you are strong, but you cannot testify. Every day we say, testimony to us, everybody sit down. But when you came here sick, some of you, you came here, things were not going well with you, but now you see some little adjustment in your future and career, you sit down. No one that comes here, that has spent some years here, will not testify that there's something good has happened to him or her. The God I serve is doing some unexplainable things in my life, and even in this place, and even in your own life. Identify yourself. 
before the God of this commission. The problem for you is, is money. Tell me one ministry, one church in this way, or any institution that is operating with that finance. Or oh. even Jesus crew with the disciple, there was a treasure. They needed money to keep the crew functioning. Those blessings you give in one way or the other, it goes back. That's why you see Manzel is beautiful. Because we make vital use of it. We make use. I have kept myself and my family and focus for the things of Jesus. I've been asking this question for years. If tomorrow Monday you have bed reading, you're on the bed, you cannot get up. Can you go to that activity? Can you put food on the table of your family? Let us appreciate God with a little at our disposal. More will come. Let us appreciate God. But see here, we still complain with a little. If you cannot appreciate God with that little, just put at the center of your heart, more will never come. It will never. Because the God you are serving has been blessing you unconditionally. Have been providing for you unconditionally. Have been making way for you unconditionally. So you just see that every time you sit you and worship, and then you go back home, then my God will my, my God and Sam will be searching for you, looking for you to bless you. The things and the works you do attract the presence of heaven to your life. Identify yourself. Caesar Augusto gave a decree that everyone should be identified. A Caesar was carrying, and everyone was running back to his hometown. Some of you, you may be an issue. Let me reach to Benjamin, to the church. That's why some of you cannot call. Some of you cannot approach me. Because there is complexion in you. There is, there is that heaviness inside of you. You are not free. Some of us are here. We are not worshiping this God today with freedom in our spirits. We are not here with our body, soul, and spirits. Part of us is somewhere. This word is reminding us. People by serving Jesus, they died on their way. They sacrificed their life. But it can never be compared with the one that Christ did on the cross. I'm talking to you that identify yourself. Yeah, most of you, 90% of you, one leg of you, is inside, one leg is outside. All oh, what you have even seen in this place happen, your yeah, one leg is still inside, one leg is outside. There are many people being in their hands, they died unconsciously. You cannot preserve yourself. You cannot protect yourself. Only God can protect us. Identify yourself. This ministry did not start with crowd. It did not start with agreement of men. It started with the power to high. And we eight people. And that time was not even member. Eight for prayer say eight. Because focus. Determination was not broken. Today is Thursday. Everybody can hear, hey, hallelujah, amen. Back service end. Brah! You are going. Sunday again. Brah! Hallelujah. 
Feed yourself. Carry God's assignment as you fix your head, make up, dress, do God's own. Do God's own. Stop complaining. God has never complained to you. He has been faithful to you and your family. God, Jesus Christ of Nazareth has been faithful to you today. He will be faithful to you tomorrow and he will remain faithful to you for eternity. You also be faithful to him to carry his own assignment as a faithful child of God. How many of you? How many of you running behind Benjamin? That this is our son. Don't look from how much trouble is him. The, the moment I'm coming to pray for you, I don't look only my, my own tribe. I pray for everyone. The God I serve is a God that does not show favoritism. It's a God that forgives, a God that unites, a God that let go offensive. Do you know how people have been insulting me? Heaven has, I've approached someone like this before you to pray for heaven. Say, this person has been talking evil about you and about this place. But that is not your character. I've given you enough strength. Pray for the person. Please, let us be conscious about to 
tomorrow, there will be a generation that will come after you. Do you know what? You see some, some family today, they are great. Their parents are not there. Children are so blessed. All of them, they don't see. All of them, they don't see. They are so great in society. So when they occupy government positions, so you say they are bribing. No, some of them pay price. My neighbor has confessed to us that he prayed for God. That let God, I always say last time that uh, the, the riches for, for Africans, our children, there's their own riches. African people, Africa, their own riches is to have, they, they are competing, instead of to compete for the company they have, the industry they have, they are competing for children. And you know that I, I have it now? No, I don't say I don't have a nine. No, I, I, I don't, my, my wife gave me once one dose in 12. No, I have the 12, 12, 12, 13. Think about how to develop, to improve, to industrialize your future. So that children that will come, yeah, people that will come after you, they should not live a miserable life. There are many parents that died today, their children are under rain and song. But they have name, I have children. Pray, no have children. Have you one or two? Isaac rebuilt Israel. Isaac rebuilt what? Israel. There today, that is the confession of Africa. I have 15 children. Look, it's car. But today, my things you redraw because you don't want this generation to be remembered. Let me tell you, when you have this supportive spirit, you are also included for your own generation that they will remember you. Don't think that I'm the only one. Each and everyone that has given his penny in this place. I'm telling you, your generation will remember. Your sweat, your energy, your strength, you deploy here is not in vain. But be in a consistent mood. These are things that you had here from other uh, men of God. Eh? This thing I'm giving to you here, you had here from this year, back to the pastor that they have called. You will not hear it from them. They will be happy because they are blessing marriage every week. Go ahead and see the marriage today, tomorrow they are divorcing. Stop that! We should get up and do the property. Yeah. Tomorrow you see, tomorrow, tomorrow they have to smoke five minutes on the, the Bible this morning. What is fine? Because what they are seeing, they say, why not he? Who are they here? Well, the woman, the boy for here. My pastor there for backside has. No, let me tell you, you we are one another strength. You may be in the dark. God has sent me as a brother to you to bring the light for all of us to succeed in life. Amen.
Because all my time I'm praying. If you see me on the street, anywhere you see me, I'm praying. I'm meditating. You may not stop my moving, but I'm praying. All the time I'm praying. You may see on the street that you feel that many men just I'm praying. You will not hear me, maybe someday you will hear me in my sixth bedroom. Lord Jesus Christ, oh Lord, open door, blessings. No. You know what I do? I thank him for the little at my disposal. When you begin to appreciate Jesus for the little, more will come. But if you don't appreciate him for that little, you are only there you put the little behind. Father, bless me. Oh Lord, bless me. No. Recognize the little. What is the little? The little is what? That is what? Yeah? Good head. That is the little. Good head. Because if there is no good head, can you find me? My, my father, my father, if you, if you know they strong, if you go home, home. No, they trust you at home. Okay. 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 Huh? You cannot have you cannot go to the activity. You can even go there to set to any plan. Appreciate God for that good help. More. Because when you have good health, there will be stability in your brain. There will be focus in your heart. You will now have a sense of direction. When there is good health, you will have a sense of direction. Stability will be there. Focus will be there. You will now have a sense of direction to move. So appreciate God for that good health. There are some people they have that money you are craving for. But this is a good health. They don't have it. Just take a school to a hospital. See people are battling with air. People are crying. This passage I've just read today, I was on top of the foundation. It's a reflection. It's a reference to what I'm saying. Joseph went back to his hometown to go there and identify because he was in a strange land. It's not a crime to stay in a strange land, but he went back to identify him and his wife to be Mary. Is it there yet? In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a censor should be taken off the entire Roman world. That means the whole Romans that was the most stiff and disciplined government at that time. So they need to identify people. Eh? To know them. You are from where? You are from which angle? You are from where? From where? From where? It was the boss. Caesar was gave that decree to all the governors, all the, the mayor, everyone. Right from the super area. Say, do that sense. Go, 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 go and do sense of them. Begin to go and verify. It's like us saying, they do all sense of for the church. And then you see the deal will come out and begin to notify to know. Ask you, is there any document that the government has issued that they know that you are operating? They will ask you, they will ask you because even the academy that will have, you have document that the SGO sign. Did this year we have the document that the SGO sign? They say, you have any document you need to identify yourself? They, how do you understand? I said, I worship him, man. Say, oh, church of all nations. That's how he confessed. That is not anticipation. That is confession. And anyone that does, will not do that, they will hold you, send you back, or they will jail you. You will pay, yeah, yeah, you will pay, pay. I, I constantly see you, means that you are converted, and the Holy Spirit has convicted you to be. A member here. Now you hear you will go for a membership card. It's your ID card. It's renewable. ID card is what? Best is getting renewable. Talk for yourself. Yeah. I'm constantly 
she literally believe here now. Eh? If I personally see literally believe, he be the God of this commission. Who is who? Jesus Christ or oh, Nazareth? <laughs> I play, I'm, I'm, I'm Kerinus. Yeah, the governor. Caesar, Caesar is Jesus. Put it, put it out with the king. Yeah? So I'm the governor, the president. He said that then today I'm Kerinus, the governor. So no, no carry Caesar. Except we are not forcing you. But it's not a force. It's not a force. But you must identify yourself if you belong. That's why you see. Foreigners in this nation, you have what we call the call a uh, country decision. Eh? You have this, uh, uh, how do they call it, resident permit. It's renewable every after some years. You renew, you have money to pay. You know why? You know why they have resident permit? They don't want to have double birth certificate. Because they have birth certificate in their country, Poland. <laughs> All of you go and take your, take your place. I said, all of you want to walk? Yes. yes. Let this message not be a message that is not fear. It should be a message that brings you consciousness and for you to be the property. Don't be fighting. You and God are majority. And God bless you, sweat. And God bless you, sweat, at the center of our heart, as we remain focused to constantly believe His word and practice and do the property in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you.